Well, filling a hole, literally and figuratively, the asphalt industry is now facing a workforce shortage with more roads needing to be paved and more infrastructure being built. Now, RTV 6's Stephanie Wade is working for you to tell you about a local recruiting effort to get more workers interested in this field. Definitely necessary. Yes, yeah, baby boomers set to retire the Asphalt Pavement Association projects losing 10% of their workforce within the next five years. Now, knowing that DPW crews are already working on mandatory overtime to fill all those nasty potholes, imagine having fewer workers to fill them. So today they targeted high school students speaking to nearly 200 teenagers from across Indiana, teaching them how to pave streets, learn about the asphalt industry and job opportunities they have available right now. Seeing like how many jobs were out there and seeing everybody that likes what I want to do. So like it just kind of encouraged me to pursue my dream. If we don't have the roads, the guys growing the food can't get the food to the processing and processing to the table. So it all kind of links together. Roads, highways, bridges, airports, they're all in need of repair, they're all in need of upgrades, and there's also new facilities that are being put in. In order to do that, we need people. A lot of our people are aging. The average age is approaching 50 years old today. That was the president of Milestone Contractors. You just heard from there. He says the need is so huge right now for younger workers. I asked him what the pay was like, and he says you can make up to $50,000 a year starting out, Amanda. And that's for someone just coming out of high school, right? Yeah, you don't need a college education to pursue this industry. And he says most contracting companies will actually help with education assistance if you do want to pursue a degree. All right, thank you for that. Stephanie Wade working for you tonight. And speaking